as everyone in this room, we're so incredibly excited to have you. And again, 40 years, an incredible legacy, so many different types of media that Tron's been passed down to, including now an attraction. Um, what's it been like, I guess, seeing this thing that you created 40 years ago translate all the way through to today in a physical format? Enjoy the journey is my philosophy. I want to thank my wife, Peggy, for being with me on this journey. I want to thank Chris and the whole Synergy team for this wonderful week, and Taylor. And um, it's been an amazing trip, the Tron story. I think visually the film has stood up, but and that's wonderful. It's great that it has a unique signature look. Um, but for me, one of the most exciting things is that the actual story came true. At the time we did this film, nobody knew what the word user meant. And uh, the whole idea of having an alter ego in the digital realm seemed strange. And now it's more relevant than ever. I mean, we're all in there, whether we want to be there or not, we are in there. And uh, when we did the first film, it was all about the idealism and the hope for computers and what the internet would bring and personal computing. And then we've watched some of that idealism, you know, run aground. And in this film, you're gonna see Flynn struggling with his creation, Clue, who's an agent program for him that has gone off the rails. So it really, the characters and their story has stood the test of time. And that's been a revelation. I mean, one thing that's funny is that in the first film, people said, oh, it's too far out. One of the most far out things we did was have a young female executive programmer who is important in a digital company and who is needed to navigate that world and take Tron and Flynn around. That was really ahead of its time because it would be decades before, you know, a woman would have that power in a digital company. So it, it's all been worth it 10 times over and to see the Tron ride, I mean, come on, it doesn't get better than that. It's, this is a dream come true. It's incredible and again, this now we're in a year of celebration of Tron with so many different offerings and things happening and still coming out to this day. And we've gotten to talk to, as I mentioned at Expo, a couple of the team behind Tron um, and it, takes a village, as I'm sure you are very well aware. Um, what's it been like reconnecting with them? Well, you know, one of the things that's really interesting about the group that made Tron, the, the, our whole team, was we were really good at that time, at, apparently, in predicting what the future might be. But none of us over the years ever predicted this. None of us predicted what it would be like to make a sequel like Tron Legacy and the amazing powers that, you know, the technology would give us. And certainly we didn't anticipate the Tron ride. So um, we're all kind of amazed. And uh, also it's uh, sad in a way because some great artists have worked on the first film like Sid Mead and Mobius and Peter Lloyd and David Warner, the actor, they're gone and they didn't get to see the ride. So I feel sad about that. but. As you can see from those photos, we're all gray now, so. <laughs> well, and again, this film specifically, Tron Legacy, was a labor of love for many people and something that I think a lot of passionate fans like myself were so excited to see at any age. And it was really cool to see another installation of the grid that happened um, now today in the 21st century, which is really cool. Um, you got to work on Tron Legacy um, behind the camera and help create it. You also had a little moment I hear in front of the camera as well that maybe some people can look out for while they're watching, right? Yeah, they, that was their revenge on me. I played a, a bartender. I don't know what they were insinuating by that, but I, I, I didn't have a choice and I'm not really a drinker. So, um, but I'm not a very good actor as you'll see. I mean, actors are people that are really good at fooling people, and I am pretty much what you see is what you get, what I say is what I mean. So, um, yeah, it, it, it wasn't my finest moment, but it was fun. I have an enormous respect for actors. 
Um, I think that actors are born, they perfect their craft, but you have to be born an actor, so it takes a special person. But again, an entire village of awesome people, whether you're a computer engineer working on this film all the way to an actor, it's really incredible just to see the amount of disciplines it takes to create something like this. When we did the first film, we got to work with uh, some of the people that worked with uh, Walt, the old timers at the studio. And um, Tron was an exciting project. It has always been an exciting project. And the old timers said that it felt like the old days when Walt was doing things because it was experimental. And that same desire to be go beyond what you know, that was in the first film, it's in the second film, it's in the ride. So Tron really becomes a, a symbol of you know being idealistic and then trying to go beyond what you've done before. And, and frankly, I think it's a great thing. I've always thought it's a great thing that Disney and the artists working for Disney jumped into this topic when they did. I kind of wish we had done, would, would have been allowed to get into it more in the 90s because look, we left it to a bunch of, you know, techno geeks and I'm not sure they should have been allowed all the freedom without bringing in a conversation about where all this was going. So the Tron represents that conversation. You know, where is all this technology taking us and, you know, where do we want it to take us? And speaking of amazing technology, I think the big reason why all of us are here celebrating today is to celebrate Tron Light Cycle Run debuting in Magic Kingdom. Are you guys excited for that? Come on. Yeah. And, you know, getting to see and obviously experience the attraction, are there any things that you saw when you experienced that just really popped out, leapt out at you that were amazing? Well, the thing about Tron, for me, it's always represented a huge world, a vast world. The internet and the digital domain, it's the largest creation of mankind that we've ever made. And uh, what I love, one of the things I love about the ride is that it's huge. And when you feel small, and that feeling of being small, of being caught up in the technology going so fast and screaming your head off, that's not dissimilar from just being on the internet, okay? I, I scream at the internet all the time. And, uh, and frankly, some parts of it are terrifying, too terrifying for me. So uh, I think they did an amazing job. And no one could have made a ride that beautiful other than Disney. I mean, come on. I, I could tell you a whole lot of technical things, but I will tell you, I cried when I saw the ride. I'm, I'm sure I'm gonna cry when I see it. No. And I, and I cried when I got off the ride, too. No, we, we got to see the site yesterday, and I was it's something truly spectacular. And it all started with you. I think we, all of us here, myself included, and everyone in this room, everyone out of this room, we really want to thank you for creating this world for Thanks us. Thanks for coming. <laughs> Enjoy the journey. Well, we're going to get the movie started here just in a quick second, but one last round of applause, please. For <laughs> off real soon. Um, before the movie starts, just a couple of reminders. Please turn off all electron big devices.